I have been impressed by the urgency of doing. Knowing is not enough, we must apply. Willing is not enough, we must do. I'm Mayland and in this video, I'm gonna talk about the stages of understanding. Understanding in not just knowing knowledge, but understanding in actual experience and actually following through. The first stage of understanding is just knowledge and awareness. It's having the perspective, it's having the knowledge, it's knowing what things to do, what's right, what's wrong. It's just gaining a new set of information, absorbing it and understanding how it works and how it could be applied to your life. And, you know, it's not enough just to know what to do, to know what's the right thing, because this is very easy and most people know what they should be doing. Most people have the knowledge to change their life, to make their lives better, to do the things that they want to do, but they ignore this voice, they ignore what they should be doing. And, you know, even though they may be willing, they may feel motivated to do these things at time, they don't actually put in consistent plans, they don't actually follow through on this voice, they don't build a habit of doing it. And that blocks them from the second stage of understanding, which is actually action. Doing the thing, when you're in the heat of the moment, when you're under pressure, when you don't feel like doing it, that is where the next stage of understanding comes in. If you can apply the knowledge in the heat of the moment when you you feel the urge to do something different, you feel the urge to yell out, to shout, to not do the thing, to go back to what you wanted to do. And, you know, follow through is just a part of the process and this takes time, it's not perfect, you know. Sometimes you're gonna stumble and you're gonna fall and it can be hard to act in the moment and to remember the things that you should be doing when our emotions are kind of clouding our vision. But that's why it's also important to have this awareness when you're taking the action and then, you know, when you have this action, you kind of reflect and see and digest these emotions so that next time you do it, you can do it a little bit better. And this is not like completely going to change your life, you know, if you just take action on the things that you should be doing. You know, you've got to build up to these sorts of things. You can't just go from one extreme to the other. And that's why it's important to face this difficulty and go through the process of it and lean just beyond the edge of your comfort zone, you know, because some people will lean too far and burn themselves out, which is something that I've done a lot because it's in our society, these things are kind of praised, you know, Olympics, you know, like the Olympics at the moment, everyone's just praising these people. Oh my God, they push themselves so hard with their body. And of course, this thing is beneficial and we value it. But there's more to this, there's a deeper level to this. It's not just pushing your body to the limits, it's pushing your mind to the limits. Because it doesn't matter how great your body is if you don't have a good mind to back it up, if you don't have a good philosophy to back it up. You know, you could learn to run the fastest or whatever, but that doesn't mean shit if you don't have good relationships, if you don't have good friendships, if you don't have a deep spiritual connection with life, with people, with beauty and with living a life to your fullest potential and enjoying this process and accepting these sufferings rather than avoiding it through some sort of sport and getting yourself into this rigid kind of cage. And so the third stage is, is reflection. It's understanding this process. It's understanding how it works. It's a step removed from it. It's not completely inside. It's not all entrenched in the knowledge. It's not or worried about taking action and the emotions associated with it. It's taking a step back. It's the observer. It's the consciousness that's like back here, that's seeing the things that are going on. And it's seeing the imperfections. It's accepting them. It's no limitation as a limitation. It's applying the things. It's freedom. And it's like... It's instinctual. It happens by itself. What you know needs to come out comes out. What you want to say comes out right. What you want to do comes out right. When you want to draw something, it comes out as you want it to. As you want it to. When you need to do something, it comes out as it's supposed to, as it's instinctual. As Bruce Lee says, I do not hit. It hits all by itself. And this step 
to get to it, you have to go through the action step because if you haven't built up the habits, if you haven't built up the abilities in your body to be able to draw, to be able to punch, to um, be able to have good conversations and social skills, then you're not going to be able to do it instinctually because instinctually your body's just going to react emotionally based on the habits that you have built up. So that's why it's first important to understand the knowledge, have new knowledge, expose yourself to new ideas, gain more perspective, take action on these things, work on yourself, work through these problems, build up better habits for yourself in your life that direct you in somewhere you would prefer to go, reflect on this process and become a step removed and work on making it become instinctual, you know, and understanding that life is always learning. There's always things to learn. There's always things to be improved. There's always doing, and this is the process of life. You know, you've got to transcend and include with each step and there's waves to life. You know, it's not always easy and it's not always hard, but you know, there's periods where it's hard and then it gets easy and you've been able to do it better, but then you gain new knowledge, new experience of what you should do. And that's hard again, because you're trying to figure it out. You're trying to wrap your head around it. You're trying to learn the new skill. You're trying to break the new fear, break the new barrier, get to that next step. And then it becomes easy again. And it's just this constant process of, you know, working through these things. It's being satisfied with your life, with what you have, but also still hungry. It's always wanting more, but never wanting any more than what you have. And this sounds contradictory, you know, like how could I have both? Why, how, why would I be wanting more if I'm happy with what I have? And if you go out to give more, to have more, when you already have everything that you, that you want and you're accepting yourself as you are, then you're magnifying that you're, you're not coming from greed. <laughs> you are coming from greed, but you're aware of it. You're aware of your ego. You're aware of your mistakes, your imperfections, but you go and do the right thing anyway. And you learn to cut out all the things that don't really matter and just work on these processes and become better at them. So then it's instinctual. So then it's easy. It comes to you when you need it. It's there. So thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.